the morning world. Morning, folks. How y'all doing? <coughs> what a workout this morning. You know what I'm saying? We did a lot. Doug, a spark to the park. Y'all know. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, swerving. Trying to drive with the knee, waste water in my left, swinging and banging. What the fuck? I almost got bad. God damn. I'm in the slow lane, though. Don't trip. I'm practicing social distance in the slow lane. Don't trip. It's not a big deal, guys. See? I know how to do this shit, man. I got driver etiquette. I don't be in the fast lane creeping and shit. You know what I'm saying? I be in the slow lane creeping. Like meditation. Let me see how they say one, two, three, breathe in, inhale on 10. See. Oh, you supposed to breathe in through your nose. get that cough because that's when the high kick in you want to meditate heavy breathing because that's when the high kick in you gotta you gotta get a deep smoke because <coughs> you ain't gonna get the <coughs> unless it's until you start coughing so you fake with smoking you puff puff blow out type niggas you ain't high you know what i'm saying you want to get for real you gotta inhale you watch the smoke did the gym and we about to hit the park but if you would people always say slim how you be smoking and then go run my personal scientific research shows that it's easier to smoke and run than it is to run and don't smoke reason being i feel like uh if you a smoker you know this smoking coats your, your stomach like it coats your stomach i guess in your lungs like say, I can go out there and run and breathe hard and be like, uh, 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 and the inside of my like organs, you can feel that shit like it burn, right? It's like, damn, I'm burning my shit out. But when you smoke, it feel like it coat, it put a coat of protection on your lungs. So when you breathe, it don't like make you feel You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Everybody don't know that, man. I'm a real fucking... Like me, kid. You know what I'm saying? Same as... Check this out. If you're a real smoker, what you want to do? You want to smoke some weed when you drunk or some shit, right? When your, when your stomach hurt... Whenever your stomach hurt, like it's like Pepto-Bismo. You know what I'm saying? You want to smoke like a motherfucker because... If your stomach hurt, the smoke might cure it. It might coat it or some shit like Pepto Bismo. Think like Kep Pepto Bismo. They definitely understand. Right, real smokers know this. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know this. The minute your stomach start fucking up, you're like, man, I hit the blunt. I hit the blunt. Cause it's gonna even your shit out, right? It's the same shit when you run though. Cause look, if I just ran out the dry lungs, I'd be breathing hard <gasps> and my shit would be feeling like a sore feeling in the inside. But when you coat your stomach or coat your lungs with the smoke, you don't feel that. And you getting it. And by being high and listening to your music, you in a zone. It's a one, two. It's like dancing. You come up with your rhythm of your run, and it's just a, it, you don't even notice you running because you so caught up in the song, you so caught up in the playlist. Before you know it, you get back at the truck. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm just letting y'all know how this shit go, man. I know people, y'all used to doing shit y'all a certain way, but listen, Dr. Thug, 
hey, I got this shit all the way understood, kid. Like, I for real did my research. Y'all gonna respect me as a scientist before this shit over with, kid. Y'all gonna respect me as a scientist. Doesn't coat your tummy. Yes, it do, man. The smoke goes in your stomach. Are you a smoker? How many blunts have you smoked? Have your stomach ever hurt it and you smoked the blunt and it cured it? Or if you ain't did that research, you can't really tell me that. I don't care what a book say. You feel me? Real life, hand-to-hand -hand research, kid. This is what I do. You know what I'm saying? Real hand-to-hand -hand daily research. This is what I do in life. Thug of the scientists. Please put some respect on my name. <clears throat> yeah. Everybody should be a scientist, man. Everybody should be out here researching, living life, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, jotting down your, your experiences and how they turn up. And put them towards how you move in life, you know what I'm saying? Blunt after hangover is definitely your facts. Same thing before it. It do the same thing. When your stomach feel janky and you like, damn. Ah, uh, my fucking stomach hurt. Whenever you got a stomach pain, if you smoke a blunt, it's like Pepto Bismol. It's gonna coat your shit. <clears throat> the smoke will make the pain go away. It is what it is. I don't do pills. I don't pop nothing. I don't never take Tylenol. I don't take none of that shit. Like a blunt gonna do the job. All you need is a slab of wood and some gas guards, and whatever you're going through is fixed. You know what I'm saying? And you say joints are blunts. I ain't gonna lie. A slab of wood might be better for you because it's more harsh. You feel me? Like, you want something more harsh with that tough smoke that's gonna kill whatever, you know what I'm saying, the pain in your stomach, you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't gonna lie. That harsh smoke work, kid. I'm telling you, kid, when you got a stomach problem, smoke that. Just try my... Try my research, man. I always listen to white folks and say they right because they doctors. They don't even smoke weed. They don't know if this shit right or wrong. I know. I do this shit. Thug and News ain't going to tell you nothing that he don't already know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like Pepto-Bismol facts. I do, man, hit up gas guards. Tell them you're trying to smoke with Slim smoking, man. And you're going to feel amazing. You see how happy I be on this bitch? It ain't just natural. <laughs> All the time. But join a day, keep the doctors away. Like, yeah, if you're a real runner, you don't want to smoke, you know, uh, cigars all day. I do it like, like your daddy do it. You know, I don't wake up to a cigar. I smoke J's in the morning. And then at night, I get down with the uh, uh, sheet. Yeah, uh, she must park across the street. You know what I'm saying? I just left the gym. Now we got park work. Shit don't stop. Should I say something to her or should I be shy? Fuck it, I'm going to pull up on it and be sugar daddy slim because if I don't say nothing to her, I might not never know, right? Say, little mama, can I get your phone number? Huh? Can I get your phone number? Oh, no. Why not? Ben telling you no. Damn. <laughs> you don't want to come ride with me? I'll come and smoke with you. All right, bet, bet. That'll work. I'll see you at the end. See? See, sometimes you get this, but as long as you can smoke, it, uh, you can work your way up to wherever you want to work in life. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get this. We all get this sometimes, but all you gotta do, fella, like I say, smoke and fix everything. So smoke and start the conversation. Then, you know what I'm saying? But look, we start, we already made the friendship. All you gotta do, of course they gonna say no at first. <laughs> if you give up that fast, good luck at life, nigga. You ain't gonna get nothing. <laughs> good luck at life. You let the first no stop you. <sighs> Come on, kid. We gonna smoke three blunts a day. We gonna talk about whatever. Hey, you sure you don't wanna? Nah, let me cap, stop capping. That's my home girl. <laughs> I already know how that was fixed. I'm joking. That was a joke, kid. I ain't gonna even front on y'all like that. That was a joke. That's my home girl, Laura. <clears throat> yeah. Nah, that's the homie. I ain't, I'm just capping with y'all. That's my little smoking partner. That's why I pulled up on her. I ain't gonna um. You know, I will. Don't get it fucked up. I will pull up and, and do it like that. But no, that's the homie. <clears throat> that's why she say no. 
Come on now, who the fuck gonna say no to Sugar Daddy Slim? Look at that, bro. I gotta hide the pimple. This is my good side today. Who gonna say no to that smile? Yeah, this shit fucked up over here. Damn. See that shit? So y'all take L's, kid. Every level. No matter how rich you get, you're gonna get a pimple. You're gonna get this. Shit gonna happen, kid. It's forever. It don't stop. <clears throat> you just gotta keep going, though. Keep going. Mashing for your dreams. Don't accept no's. You know what I'm saying? Do it like that. That's how you gotta do it, shit. Work on them sprints today. All right, I'm gonna fuck with you today on the sprints. Usually, the last few runs, I've been doing a little run. Everybody did a little slow run all the way around the park. But, nah, I probably jogged this hoe. Because uh, I usually do the run the sun, walk the shade, and still be beating niggas who be running in their little pace. That's my little sprint, though. I run the sun and walk the shade. That shit good for you, though, man. It's like, like what you're saying, the sprints. But... I've been just jogging lately. I might do a little sprint like that today, but it's too gloomy to know what the sun is, what's the shade. I'd really be walking real slow. Oh yeah, what we talking about? Oh, my boy Dion, man. <clears throat> Everybody talking about Dion leaving Jackson. That's the news of today. Right? Yeah. I love what he was doing over there. I love how he turned the uh, HBCU up. Uh, I've been saying that somebody needed to do that type of shit, and he did it, and did it well, dominated. Uh, it'll be, uh, it'll be, <clears throat> it'll be, what? It'll be kind of disrespectful to keep going, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? He done ran through the whole HBCU like it was nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, to keep blowing everybody out and keep doing it over and over again. And then everybody gonna really say he's showing out. So you can't really win. You know what I'm saying? He was blowing the, blowing the whole HBCU out and everybody was mad about that. <clears throat> so you gotta, when you reach the top, you gotta keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, all right. He did his, he did enough to lead others to um, follow suit and take over what he left off. You know what I'm saying? He did a lot already and showed people what could be done in a, in a short amount, amount of time. And uh, you have to respect that. And he uh, getting old, man. Prime getting old. Fuck this uh, foot up or whatever. Like, hell no, you got to get out of that. You can't be just staying down in the motherfucking trenches when you a whole king. You know what I'm saying? And um, you falling apart out there and they don't have the resources to keep you together. You know what I'm saying? You got to fly out to see doctors and shit. That's get too overwhelming. Like, you know, it's cool, you know, for what he fought for. But he did enough. He did enough, I believe. And and on this level, he can still do what he want to do on that level and keep the same thing going, but on that level. But then, too... What I want everybody to see is what he said. You know, you got to understand that even before he went to Jackson State, he did a 60-minute interview. And if you just do your research, you can see it. He did a 60-minute interview and before he even did Jackson. And, he, and they asked him that question. They say, now, if a five pulled up with an offer, what are you going to have? What are you going to do? And he said, I'm going to entertain it. He said, I'm going to have to entertain it. I'm going to have to entertain it. He's going to have to entertain it because he ain't got a big enough budget dealing with what he's doing out there. So if the man never said that he would stay forever and he said that if a five offer came to him, he was going to have to entertain it. In the beginning, you can't be mad. It ain't nothing you can say. You can't be mad at it at all because he said from the beginning, if that opp opportunity came, he would have to take it. You know what I'm saying? So look that up. Do your research and, you know, get out your feelings. I was in my feelings, too. I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to see him stay in Jackson. Huh? You thugging? Man, we cool. All Shut right. the door. You letting all the weed you out. Do. They ain't even know we was smoking. We got a 10 on the windshield, kid. They giving us up. What if Southside nigga be telling on us? It's crazy. 
Yeah, but like I say, man, you know, Prime is Prime, man. He up, man. We can't expect a king to motherfucking, you know, go back and stay there forever. Like, you know, he went back, did what he's supposed to do as a man. You know, he did good and led the way. But he getting older, kid. Like, you know, he can't be suffering, you know, with his leg and or foot or whatever it is. It's fucking up and shit now, kid. Get out of there. Go get some. Take care of you first. It's, you know... A lot of old people be mad, like black men, they just gotta shake their head because they know it's a never ending fight with trying to, you know, uh, get this shit right, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a never ending fight. <laughs> it's already set up. It's set up better than what we was, kid. We ain't got the whole big uh, ocean. All that shit, kid. Studio in the house, everything. We need to get on this. It's a. Else, Five rooms. So yeah. Four extra rooms. Two, you know, they shit too. Yeah, hit me up, bro. They they beat two in the room anyway. Like that's how it was on that show we was on. Damn. Unless they want to come get in the big bed with Big Slim. <laughs> yeah. Who wanna come <laughs> sleep in the big bed with Big Slim? <laughs> Double showers, jacuzzi tub, touch mirror with the filter on that bitch. Yeah. Who wanna let his life, baby? Come on. <coughs> Look, she said, oh, you tricking, tricking. Yeah, that's going to change. That's going to make some motherfuckers change their mind. <laughs> that's going to make some motherfuckers switch over. Like, hey. Is this Slapwoods? Yeah, that's Slapwoods. Wood. Yeah, that's Slapwoods. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. They got to win that challenge. Man, that sound like a lick. I'm going to keep building on that, kid. So get ready for that Sugar Daddy Slim show. Right now, we did this shit live, bro. On live, kid. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Live on live, we came up with this shit, bro. And there it is. Now, watch this shit. Watch we make this shit happen. And then, this, we gonna get... I, want, I ain't gonna lie. I wanna keep the seasons going. I wanna pull a you. And not just have one season to get married. Like, we gonna have to say... I don't know. We gonna say, man, that shit ain't work out with old girl. She took the money and ran. We need another set of 10. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, kid. We done figured it out. Man, black people, we so smart and just creative, man. Y'all niggas Hollywood talking. Y'all is not gonna execute this shit. We finna man. execute that. You got my boy Ray J fucked up. Yeah, that nigga Ray, don't even sleep, nigga. We was at the you. house. That nigga wasn't even going to sleep. sleep. <laughs> Three days straight. I be like, nigga. You... I want y'all to do this shit. Do yeah. This shit. We gonna make this shit happen, kid. We gonna make this shit happen. At least three seasons, kid. At least three seasons. Now nah, don't try to switch me out and get a new sugar daddy. I'm only 42, nigga. He's I need done. 10, nigga. Ray, I need Ray, 10. He's done after the first season. I ain't nigga. gonna give up. <laughs> nigga, I'm gonna keep going, nigga. I'm saying. Yeah, I ain't gonna say I love season. her, man. I wanna stay down with this one. I think I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna finally find one. I'm gonna say, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. That's the point. <laughs> but it probably probably be 12 seasons later. Damn. But we gonna do that. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's get it, Ray J. Go on, let them know, kid. You my agent, man. Come on, let them know. We got to make this shit happen. Tell them the idea. Tell them they ain't never touch on Texas. Texas is hot right now. We ain't never had no uh, Texas reality show, have we? I don't know, really. Like, not, really. not none that I know of that's really like, and you know, that's going to be really Houston. Houston, where it's real, like, active in the city, like, we can take them out on dates like that. That's what it be like. The show gonna be a date on every show. We can travel, go somewhere. We can um, just go do an activity together, like some fun shit. Like go to the strip club, the the clubs out here, cause Houston known for clubbing. You know what I'm saying? What's our other shit? We already got the ten episodes. Thought about.